Hey, I'm Fight the Flat Earth. Welcome back to the channel where stupidity is Tokyo and I'm Godzilla. Today is day three of my celebration of getting 5,000 subscribers. And again, guys, thank you so much. It means the world to me. So I was doing my daily troll for the interwebs when up pops a video about me on YouTube. Now, since I started this channel a couple of months ago, actually seeing videos about me on other channels has become a commonplace occurrence. Last time I checked, um, not that I'm counting, but there was 57 videos made about me by Flat Earthers. Now that's more videos than I've actually got on my channel. So some from Shed Rage Dell, uh, from Mindfulness, from Clearly Flat Earth, uh, lots and lots from Mr. Cheswick, and most recently from Validation Boy, which he's really gonna regret on Friday. But this was the first time that I'd come across a video directed at me that wasn't made by a complete and utter fucktard. So let's have a look at what was said. Hi folks, I'm Schrodinger's cat. Today, I'm calling out Fight the Flat Earth. He thinks that the UK is better than the US and there's points to be made on both sides. The UK has poor dental hygiene, but the US has Florida. So we can agree to disagree. But when he says, that his Nathan is more stupid than our Nathan, that's where I draw the line. Sure, Nathan Oakley uses his mute button too much and beats his child, but Nathan Thompson across unsuspecting NASA employees at Starbucks. So, I think I've made my point. When it comes to stupid Nathans, and fat people at Walmart, the US is clearly better. Well, that's easy. Of course, the UK Nathan is way, way dumber than Nathan Thompson. Wait, 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 wait. Hold the fuck up, Fight the Flat Earth. Are you even considering Nathan Thompson as the dumbest Nathan on the face of the planet? Schrodinger's cat, put your inner tiger away and let me take down Fight the Flat Earth. Because hands down, our Nathan is dumber than his Nathan, and I have proof. Oh, it's on. We're living on a disc, floating through space, with a tiny sun. So, here's what's going down, guys. Team Skeptic and I are each going to give you our top five reasons as to why we think our country's Nathan is the dumbest. Once this video is finished, I'll put a poll up in my community tab and you guys can vote on the winner. I will reveal the winner live on the Non Sequitur show on Saturday. Just to remind you guys, Non Sequitur show on Saturday is mine. I'll be doing six hours of back-to-back -back debates followed by an after show. So here's my top five reasons why Nathan Oakley is dumb as fuck. Number five. Nathan Oakley has been trying to make a name and a living for himself on YouTube for quite a few years, which is why I find it surprising that he doesn't seem to have any clue about the YouTube terms of service. Now, Nathan isn't exactly what you would call a nice person. Shut your mouth. Shut you're, up, you're, globe head, idiot. You're getting an explanation for how perspective you. can block stuff. Shut up you. and listen. Uh, Milu, how dare you mute Arwin? Get out of my he hangout. Muted, he, he muted Just me. because you're yeah, losing, because you were talking prick. over Nathan. Don't mute anybody. Little prick. So that is a small sample of what a nasty person Nathan Oakley can be. He can be way worse than that, but I didn't really want to show it on my channel. But anyway, that kind of behavior got his channel suspended from doing live streams. Now, Nathan Oakley has a second channel and... Nathan Oakley decided that, oh, well, if I can't live stream on that channel, I'll just move my Flat Earth Debate live stuff to my other channel. That is specifically against the YouTube Terms of Service. So what happened? His original channel gets shut down. His new channel, Nathan Oakley 1980, is suspended from streaming. But do you think he stopped there? No. See, Back in the day, before Nathan Oakley started doing all this Flat Earth nonsense, he actually had a channel on YouTube called Oakley Crunch, where he reviewed some tech. Now what he's done is rename that channel to just Nathan Oakley, 
and started to upload his Flat Earth debates on there. I mean, does anybody know what the definition of madness is? Number four. Of course, flurfs are always trying to come up with a reason as to why things disappear bottom up. We obviously know that it's because we live on a globe and they're going over the curve. But flat earthers will come up with all sorts of nonsense to try and explain it. Nathan's attempt at explaining it was magic. Wait, that doesn't, that doesn't sound right. Um, oh, wait, sorry. I'm an angle, angle of attack. Yeah. Angle of attack is some crazy form of witchcraft that apparently combines going over a curve and perspective. So for a long time I've been trying to make the analogy that if you take off a pair of shoes and back away from them, you will see them disappear eventually due to their angular size being too small to see. And you can induce this effect by reducing the angle. So the angle of attack is essentially what causes things to disappear from bottom up. So in this example I've set a book at the end of this very long hall which they play table tennis on so it's incredibly flat and as you can see as I lower my angle the book disappears. Right, stop there you moronic idiot. Right, stop there, you lying moron. Quite obviously, what's going on here is that the book is in a different room. And you can quite clearly see that that room is ever so slightly lower than the hall that you are in. And to be honest, just you saying that they use it to play table tennis doesn't mean that it's flat. The reason why this is number four is because, look at it, this is Nathan's explanation for things disappearing from the bottom up. I mean... Oh, for fuck's sake. So Nathan's angle of attack was his number four. Number three. This will be a very short and sincere announcement. I did not strike my daughter. I did not strike my daughter. I want to get a strop in my kids starts playing with my touch screen. Typical. So the ball no is the thing about. that's moving, Grumpus. I missed that. Careful, careful. You know, disciplining your child is one thing. No one's a perfect parent, okay? But publicly going on your channel and saying that you didn't do something, which you quite obviously did, is a really fucking stupid thing to do. That's why it's number three. Number two. My number two reason for Nathan Oakley being dumber than Nathan Thompson is because of the friends that he keeps. Let's have a look at his little crew. We've got Ranty Flat Earth, who frankly does the best globe observations that I've ever seen. Every time the guy picks up his P900, he proves the globe. And Sleeping Warrior. Well, what can we say about the guy who's come runner up in Dumb Fuck of the Year twice? Well, actually, I can say quite a lot, and I did. If you um, check out this link, you'll see why. So yeah, if these are the people that Nathan Oakley surrounds himself, it just further clarifies the fact that he is a real dumb fuck. Number one. That being the case, when I came across a Math Powerland video on YouTube and he uttered the words flat earth, not in ridicule, but in the same context as we're talking about today, it immediately was a eureka moment. I mean, I literally went and woke my wife up and told her that the earth was flat. He went and woke his wife up in the middle of the night to tell her the earth is flat. I've been married for 12 years. And let me tell you something, guys. That is the stupidest fucking thing that you could ever do. Secret to a happy marriage. Here's a little hint for you guys. Secret to a long, happy marriage is if she wants to sleep, let her fucking sleep. Oh my God, this retarded flat earther is so dumb that he thinks the moon gets taken down from maintenance and he wants to send his child to Hogwarts. There is no way that Nathan Thompson is dumber than Nathan Oakley. If I had a mic, I'd drop it. I reckon I got this in the bag. So here is in order of least stupid to most stupid, my evidence that our Nathan is dumber than their Nathan. Five. Five. Our Nathan, Nathan Thompson, is known for his street activism. According to his Flat Earth International Conference biography, he's traveled across the United States and met up with thousands of like-minded idiots, apparently being jobless, homeless, and indirectly responsible for helping other people destroy their relationships with family and friends is something to brag about. Four. 
Do you know what type of person everybody hates? This type of person. <laughs> this type of person. Got a one-stop sale here, guys. I got hats. I got a jersey. Five bucks. This type of person. Ah, never my music. I've got an music in my soul. And especially this type of fucking person. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, I want to make an announcement. Has anyone heard the earth is flat? Yes, Nathan Thompson is one of those guys. Fuck your personal privacy and let me scream on the public transportation type of person. The you can listen to me vomit bullshit or you can get the fuck off the train type of person. If I would have been on that train, I would have kicked him in his flat nutsack. If this list was just about me, it would have made the top because I have a personal disdain for people who believe closed public spaces are prime for street preaching. Nobody wants to hear your bullshit, Nathan, so sit the fuck down and shut the fuck up, you fucking idiot. Three. Our Nathan is the dumbass that bounces the golf ball on a sledgehammer while reciting flat earth assertions by heart. A wise man and actual juggler by the name of W.C. Fields once said, if you can't dazzle them with brilliance, Baffle them with bullshit. In his video, Nathan displays the brilliance of a burnout light bulb, reciting a bunch of nonsensical evidence of a flat earth, including claiming instruments that only work on a globe like sextants and astrolabes are proof for a flat earth. He knows that he is not brilliant, so cue up the bullshit by bouncing a ball on a sledgehammer. Wow, me so impressed, me flat earther. Now before we get to our last two reasons, I'd like to say that the first three reasons could easily be chunked out the window because the next two reasons are the only reasons we need to show why he is the dumbest Nathan of all time. Two. Nathan Thompson is the jackass who blindsided a NASA employee on his coffee break at Starbucks to accuse him of not only lying to the people but also claiming that he hates his fellow Americans. Well, I just got kicked out of Starbucks for asking NASA employee questions because he's lying. What a piece of shit. I mean, let's break this down a bit. Nathan Thompson, no formal education, jobless, homeless, and lives in a car in which he shits in the gas tank for biofuel. NASA employee, probably has several degrees in the STEM fields. Great job, financial stability, and gets his gas from a gas station. You want to tell me who the human trash is? It's moments like these that you are hoping a random wrecking ball comes out of nowhere, swings in, and puts Nathan Thompson into orbit. I don't condone unnecessary violence, but this reminds me of the time that Buzz Aldrin was harassed by Bart Sibrel about faking the moon mission, and Buzz Aldrin landed a right hook to the jaw that would have made Mike Tyson proud. You're a coward and a liar and a thief. If that NASA employee would have beat the shit out of Nathan Thompson on the spot, I would have donated to his legal funds. One. And the number one reason that our Nathan is a bigger dumbass than their Nathan is that our Nathan is responsible for starting the largest Flat Earth Facebook page, the Flat Earth vs. Globe Earth Discussion Group. At the time of doing this video, that group had 117,000 members. That's over 117,000 idiots believing this idiotic nonsense, and Nathan Thompson is personally responsible. But that in itself is not what makes Nathan Thompson the dumbest. The fact that his Facebook group is out to spread the Flat Earth message by suppressing the Globe Earth discussion side of the group is the reason my idiot counter even exists. In fact, the entire Team Skeptic channel wouldn't exist if it wasn't for him and his moderators blocking me because I was disagreeing with them about gravity. The simple act of blocking me from that group was the catalyst that pushed me to actually get off my ass and start a YouTube channel. So if you're a flat earther and I've called you an idiot either directly or indirectly, you can blame it on idiot zero, Nathan Thompson. So Schrodinger's cat, that is why our Nathan is dumber than their Nathan. And if you guys haven't subscribed to Schrodinger's cat, do so now. A link will be in the description. Now let's kick it back to fight the flat earth so he can grovel at our feet in defeat. No team skeptic, just, just no because my Nathan is quite clearly dumber than your Nathan. I mean, Nathan Thompson is really dumb, but Nathan Oakley is, well, he's way dumber. 
But at the end of the day, we don't get to decide. You guys do, remember? Once this video is done, I'll put a poll up in my community tab and you guys can vote on which Nathan you thought was dumber and I will reveal the winner live on the Non Sequitur Show on Saturday. A massive thanks to Team Skeptic and Schrodinger's Cat. Make sure you guys subscribe to both of them. Come back to this channel tomorrow at 8 p.m. EST to see me live debate a flurf and then come back on Friday for me to make Validation Boy cry. Again, thanks to all my subscribers. You guys are fueling me and I just want to keep doing this. And an extra, extra massive thanks to my patrons. Make sure you guys like and subscribe if you aren't already and get the notification bell on so you know as soon as I've got content out. And remember, stupidity is not a right. Fight the flat earth. We're living on a disc floating through space with a tiny sun. Fight the flat earth. Fight the flat earth.